Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, Vixpiration Day, 8.06 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's start this morning call with a quick disclaimer. I only express my studies. I'm not a financial advisor. Future the stock to cryptocurrency and options trade involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. The valuation of the future the stocks, stocks, cryptocurrency and options may fluctuate and as, as a result, investors may lose more than their original investment, especially if you are leveraged. Folks, I put over here in bold one more time observation. The way that you know market is acting nowadays is much better to you be out than start to guess the direction. You guys have been noticed that market is totally uh, without defining providing us definition where will be the direction, right? Market's totally flat. I also put over here. The no flow region started 5,825, 5,850. For those that are day trade, what I have been explained, be careful. But if you want to try to be long, look to buy at 5,825. If you look to buy, be short, look for short at 5,850, 5,860. Right? I told you this several times, especially in the closed group. I'm in a watching screen mode uh, anyway I don't want to look for but I, I post the levels you know if you want to try short 5856 if you if you if you guys want to try long 5225 breaking down work with stops right because we are trading in a no flow region Today for, today for me is a very important day because of VIX expiration. It's totally normal to see volatility is going high at the open. Uh, seeing a, 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 a supportive VANA for the downsize, not the upsize, because VANA, be, Vega basically, VANA, VANA is vol. If you see volatility, you know, at the open, VANA, you <coughs> generate a sell pressure, not a buy pressure. Okay? In the settlement, <coughs> apologize about that, sorry, excuse me. <coughs> In the settlement of the VIX, since VIX is cash, you know, ha, uh, occurring at the open at 9.30 a.m., okay? So for those that will be long, for those that will be short, they know what's going to happen, or they will bring up, or they will bring down, depending how they are positioned. And consequently, since today is a VIX expiration, maybe we will start to see in the book a definition of the direction, right? Or if you have one more leg up before an ABC correction, or if they are really distributing and we tend to, to start to see a correction, right? For me, today is a very important day. As I put in the market structure document, uh, economic agenda today is really calm. Uh, busy start to be tomorrow. Okay, let's you know read the summary that I put. Uh, 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 I wrote to you guys. We have a flow up to five thousand nine hundred and fifty. This is where the region that you know Julius hold over the long gamma. I have been telling you guys this since beginning of the month right we never i never provide a bearish bias to you guys because the flow was totally bullish now i cannot provide any bias because we don't have the direction predefined and the book is giving us i mean dealers leaving us adopt if or they accumulate at the 25 or if they are really distributing inside this no flow range okay so we have flow up to 5950 but doesn't mean that we go up to there my vision is that if they are accumulating at 5825 the upside could be lower than people expect okay my vision is still the same november tended to be a bearish month this is totally normal because it's election month 
Remember, some panic during the election, euphoria right after. Anyway, for tomorrow, today, we could see X, X trade between 5,830 and 5,870. So far, future take us up to 5,835. So exactly the range that they suggest us uh, yesterday. The setup that they left yesterday in the book. Opening with a gap down today is totally normal. As I said, it's a VIX expiration. Right? Uh, I'm not willing to trade at those levels. I wait a buy or a sell sign. Tendency is to see a sell sign anytime soon. Right? Look at how different divergent is the summary. We could go up, but you could go down. I don't like I really don't like to tell you guys this. Because we don't have predefined the direction yet. Market still trending in a no flow range. Okay? So what I do in those setups? I'm looking screen only. Because the setup is to take my money. I don't want to play casino. Right? I don't want to open and close position during the intraday as crazy. Right? I like to open a swing trade as soon as provide me the direction. Then I can buy and hold up to the expiration date. Right? Try to get some deltas as a profit. Anyway, since you know, uh, yesterday they provide us a possibility of a range. How XPX you trade today, 5,820, Let's check the pre-market. Okay, let's go. Oh, pay attention that below 45, we intraday, we enter back in a negative gamma. What's the pattern of the negative gamma? Sell weakness, buy rallies. Squeeze happens in a negative gamma. Exactly what happened yesterday. We came from 5,821 up to 5,863. Right? They brought market to a negative gamma, spike volatility at the open, and then during the intraday, they start to sink VIX1D, they start to drop volatility, they, mark, they start to generate enough gamma to bring market up. I told you guys the put call rate, especially the CPCI, that you know spike up to two, right? The volatility dropping faster and, and furious, the magnificent sevens going up, right? So all the keys suggest us a gamma squeeze. And this is what happened yesterday, right? I notify you guys when market was trading between 5,825 and 5,830. And I also provide the levels. The squeeze starts as soon as you break 40.45. As soon as you, we broke, we enter in a call dominance region. We went up to 5,863 and then we drop and close below 5,860. We expect it to close below 5,806 because remember in the closed group that the order that printed in the day before a 5,900 call put spread break in 5,866, right? So close below the resistance that they pre set up. Okay, so today, poor Delta exposed. Anyway. The setup today could be the same, especially because it's a VIX expiration. The settlement are at the open. If they want to go long, right? So today is a good day to keep the whole over of the long gamma. Volatility is, is kind of high right now. VIX 1D, D is 3% higher. VIX, volatility 30 days, VIX plus 2%. So, Volatility skill show us discrepance, right? So implied volatility for puts is really high, implied volatility for calls is really lower. So we have more premium for the downsides because the implied volatility, of course, in the puts is paying more premium. Anyway, if you go against for those that are holding negative delta, of course, delta you, you will burn premium, fast and furious. So today, if they really want to 
<coughs> be long gamma, they need to bring at the open volatility higher and then start to suppress. Sell premium, sell puts to buy cheaper calls. Okay? I'm not telling that, that uh, uh, this is not a guarantee. Okay? This is going to happen. But I'm just telling you guys the setup that usually they use to be long gamma and holding over. Keep the holy over. They usually start to hold over a couple of days before the OPEX and going up to the VIX expiration, especially during the VIX expiration day. Right? Since COVID, you guys have been seeing in the VIX expiration day, everybody's talking about Volmagedon. Uh, is basically it's, it's talking about Volmagedon, right? And this is the use that pattern to spike exactly in the VIX expiration and suppress the volatility in higher levels, right? Generate gamma to bring market back up. Especially when we are in a negative gamma exposure. Pattern by release, sell weakness, big candles, squeezes. Okay? Going back to the gamma, the pattern is still the same. Maybe we will trade in the same range? Yes. As I put in the market structure document, going up to 5,830 and then spike up and go up to 5,870 and reject? Could you be? But for pre-market, again, we have some supports in lower levels below 5,800. That's the correction that I have been telling you guys, 5,770, 5,750, major correction, 5,650, right? Pay attention that the DEX, they move in pre-markets compared to what they left yesterday. Instead of 5,870, now the DEX is located at 5,855. So the tendency and the inflection point for the upside will be 5,850.55. Okay? Let's go and check the volume. Pay attention by the volume. All the calls in the pre-markets are concentrated at 5,875. The pre syrup left yesterday was 5,830 up to 5,807. Okay? So, but pay attention that the delta exposure at 5,707, 875 is lower. So, maybe they are selling those calls. I cannot guarantee. But even if they are selling those calls, remember, if you go in here and people that sold the 5,807 call, they need to buy it back generate gamma to bring markets higher okay i'm just trying to show you guys a setup so now you need to look for 5855 as an inflection point for the upside 5870 probability will be the rejection and 5875 a squeeze region if you coming up to 5875 don't be don't be bearish because the tendency you know for those that they are so uh, I have been selling 5,870 call, they need to buy back, generate enough gamma to bring market up, higher. Okay? So, basically, these are the levels. So, calls are big volume at 5,875 and pay attention that below 5,850, 40, sorry, 40 per volume, puts are in dominance. But regarding open interest, Pay attention that 5,850 basically is a no flow, but you have a little dominance in puts. If you close at 5,850, you know, basically dealers will collect premium. Anyway, below 5,850 puts are in dominance. Okay? Puts are in dominance. But pay attention in 5,760, 80, we have positive decks. So probably. Probably, certainly, better, Gina sold those puts in lower level below 5,800, okay? <coughs> so, we need to look for 5,832 days as a support, especially, you know, the re uh, this region is really in, in, in important, going from 5,830 and 5,840. So, now, inflection to the upside, 5,855, Rejection at 5,870 and squeeze region at 5,875. Okay? Remember that the economic agenda starts to be busy tomorrow. Let me put over here in the screen. 
Tomorrow is the agenda econômica agenda start to be really business. We have job data printing, we have PMI, we have home data, and we have CPI after the market in Japan. Okay? And Friday is also busy because we have Michigan one year and five years inflation expectation, consumer expectation, sentiment and conditions. Okay? So, a agenda start to be busy tomorrow. Okay? As I said, I'm in watch screen modes. Market is trade in a no flow region. Okay? Upside for this leg up that we are still in this leg could you be lower than people think before a correction correction could you go up to 5,770.50 or worst case scenario 5,650 and then I expect a big rally and you'll be the last wave the final of the wave 5 guys take care enjoy your day talk to you guys during the intraday